In this video, we are going to cover the Cauchy-Riemann equation. That is, the function we'll check is continuous, differentiable, that is, analytic anywhere. For this one, we'll define a complex variable. So, basically, a complex variable. To define a complex variable, first of all, let's consider here a complex number, which is equals to z equal to x plus i y, and here x and y are both are real numbers. So, if we come to the our calculus part, where y is a function of x. So it's a single variable function. Now here we have almost the same idea, but w is a function of f of z, and this w f of z can be written as u x of y plus i of v times x of y. W itself is a function of u and v. So almost we have a same idea that we are done for calculus. Now recall that in the case of limits, if we have a function y equal to f of x and we want to check the limit at x equal to a. When we normally use left hand limit, right hand limit. So if we have limit x tends to a, and we we'll select here one neighbor point, that is a plus. So this limit must equal to limit f of x, x tends to a plus, and one point we'll select on the left hand side of this one. So we we'll select two neighbors, one on the right side, one on the left side. This is the limit f of x, x tends to a minus, and if this value is equals to f of a. We'll say the function is continuous. So this can be very well justified in the case of one-dimensional. So what we are doing here, we are approaching the point from the left side and right side. There are only two possible ways we can approach from left and right. But as far as the function of z is considered, which is basically consists of two numbers, one is x and one is y. So in any plane which contains the real axis and imaginary axis, that is x and y, this one is any point z. Is equal to x plus i y. So nearby this point, there are infinite number of points. So we can approach this point in any direction. So for this point, you can approach in all possible directions. Say for example, we have two plus three i. So two plus three i can be approached in this direction, in this direction, even from this side also, from this side, this side. So in all possible direction, we can come to this point. So there is a delta point neighborhood of this one, and if that limit will exist. For all the near points, then we'll say the function is function as a limit. So in a very simple way, it is written as limit z tends to zero of f of z equal to one finite limit. Then we'll say the function as a limit. And if the function is a the limit, then the function is said to be continuous. Now, if the function is continuous, we can differentiate the derivative. Say, for example, dy by dx is given as f of x plus h minus f of x upon x plus h minus x is equal to h. So in the similar fashion, we can define the limit in the case of complex number. Almost same definition. So here delta z is a neighborhood, and here h is a neighborhood. So analytic function is that function which is differentiable near that point is also differentiable at the near the point also. To check the function is analytical, we can simply ignore all this theory and we can simply apply the Cauchy-Riemann equation, which is del u by del x equals to del v by del y. And del u by del y equal to minus del v by del x. If you satisfy these two condition, we can conclude that it is a continuous, and hence it is analytic function. That is, it can be differentiable as well as you can integrate it. So remember the Cauchy-Riemann equation; they are very powerful equations. And in case if you want to find out derivative of that function, use this definition. That is, derivative of function is del u by del x plus i times del v by del x. Or you can use the second definition also. How to remember? So first of all, you write u. And v, u is normally defined along x-axis. V defined along y-axis. So you simply take the derivative, that is del u by del x. Second derivative, take del v by del y. So you get the first equation. This is how you can remember. Second equation you can remember in two ways. First, you can take the help of matrices, that is determinant. Make entry of u, v, x, y. You know how to solve the procedure for determinant. First, you take u with y. So it is del u by del y. Second term is always minus. Del u by del x. This is how you can remember this. So we have del u by del y equal to minus of del u by del x because second term we normally take as negative. Or otherwise you can take the help of fluid mechanics. So this one is x-axis. This one is y-axis. Along x-axis we have velocity equal to u. Along y-axis velocity equal to v. So simply differentiate u with respect to x and equate with and v with respect to y. That is our first equation. And if we make a cross, that is u v is differentiated with respect to x. And u is differentiated with respect to y. So when the crossing is done, apply negative sign. 
So this simple way you can remember it. So the first problem in the appear in the gate where you are given analytic function of a complex variable. So it was clearly mentioned that the function is analytic. It means that the CR equation are satisfied. And it is given that fz equal to w u x of y and i times v times x of y and you are given the value of u you want to find out the value of v so we can apply cauchy riemann equation the first equation set is del u by del x equal to del v by del y del u by del x from this term is 2x is same as del v by del y so we can separate the variable as dv is equal to 2x into dy now integrate we get v is equal to 2 times x y now use the second set of cauchy riemann equation we have del u by del y is equal to minus of del v by del x so this time differentiate u with respect to y so you will get minus of 2y from this equation equal to minus of del v by del x your minus sign will get cancelled and you left with dv is equal to 2 times y multiplied by dx integrating we get v is equal to 2xy so while writing the final solution the final solution must contain all the common terms of both equations so your solution is in this problem also we are given the function is analytic and you are given the value of u is equal to 2xy and you want to find out the function of v so again we can apply the cauchy riemann equation that is del u by del x equals to del v by del y so to differentiate u with respect to x so we'll get 2y is equal to del v by del y so we can separate variable we get 2y times dy is equal to dv integrate this we will get v is equals to y square similarly we have second set of cauchy riemann equation which is del u by del y minus of del v by del x so we can differentiate this respect to y we'll get twice x minus of del v by del x separate variable will get dv is equal to minus of 2x into dx integrate we get v is equal to minus of x square remember your final solution must contain all the terms that is must satisfy all individual solutions so your solution is v is equal to y square minus of x square in this problem also the function is given as analytic and you are given this term which is a u term so u is given as here x cube minus 3x y square so again we can apply the cauchy riemann equation the first set is del u by del x equal to del v by del y so we can differentiate u with respect to x we'll get thrice x square minus 3y square equal to del v by del y so we can solve for dv as 3x square minus 3y square multiplied by dy after integrating we will get v is equal to 3x square y minus 3y cube by 3 is same as minus of y cube now we'll use the second set of cauchy riemann equation which says that we have del v by del x equal to minus of del u by del y so we have del v by del x equals to minus of u this time differentiate with respect to y so first term is 0 second term is minus 6xy now integrate this with respect to x we will get v is equals to basically this term should be positive is plus 3x square y now one term is common and extra term is minus y cube so the final solution consists of 3x square y minus of y cube in this problem we have given that both are the function is analytic and you have to calculate the constant a b c so this term is equal to u so u is equal to minus of x square plus x y plus y square and v is equal to a x square plus b x y plus c y square so we'll apply cauchy riemann equation because the function is analytic so we have del u by del x equal to del v by del y so we can differentiate u with respect to x we'll get minus of 2x plus y and we'll differentiate v with respect to y so we'll get b times x plus 2 times cy so we can compare the coefficient of x and coefficient of y so we'll get minus 2x equal to bx 
x will cancel so b is equal to minus 2 now we equate the quotient of y so we have 2 c y is equal to y y will cancel so c is equal to 1 by 2 so out of 3 2 are known rest 1 we can find out by using second set of cauchy riemann equation according to this we have del u by del y equal to minus of del v by del x del u by del y is x plus 2y minus of this term will be equal to twice ax derivative of this term is plus by we already find out the value of b so we'll get x plus 2y minus of 2ax minus of b and b is minus 2 into y so here plus 2y and plus 2y will cancel x is also cancel so we'll get a is equals to minus 1 by 2 that is the third answer